we have now some time for panel discussion and the closing remarks, uh, which I wanted to start like with overall statistics of the two share uh, within two years. So basically we, we got uh, 64 teams registered for the task, like uh, almost 50 teams submitted their approaches, more than 100 runs that we received from uh, and evaluated uh, from our participants and almost 30,000 documents we judged manually based on their relevance and 6,000 uh, documents additionally we judged the argument uh, quality. Okay, so uh, we are very glad that this year, 2021, we saw that all our participants used the data and labeled corpora that we created in 2020 and provided and published on the website. We're also happy that the majority of the approaches this year actually improved over baselines. And this is again, uh, our main goal of organizing to share is to provide a platform for collaboration for argument retrieval researchers. This is this is um, a website to share.webist.de where you can find the description of the task, where you can find um, the relevance and the quality corpora published, and we're also uh, publishing the submitted rankings for further experiments um, and investigations into argument retrieval approaches. We um, we support uh, software submission and uh, evaluation of the uh, retrieval approaches using uh, Tira platform. And this is what I also wanted to uh, to emphasize and to show you some impact that. Uh, to share as the lab, as the activity, as the community brings to argument retrieval community. Uh, so, so far we got uh, 24 participant working notes that are published in the proceedings, uh, in the online proceedings. And we are also glad that, uh, that the actual research extends uh, that uses uh, um, uh, corpora, label corpora that we create during to share and uh, ranking that participants submit to to share, uh, then this research is expanded, um, um, improved and uh, is published at um, at top conferences such as uh, SICM or SIGAYAR. Uh, and the, the latest the latest paper was published at SICOM this year uh, that evaluated the fairness and argument retrieval. Um, it's quite interesting approach, uh, quite interesting publication which looks into into the argument ranking analysis and gives a conclusion uh, how fair argument retrieval or so like in most ca cases, is actually unfair and uh, in providing the in ranking the in ranking the arguments and how to fix uh, this unfairness. Uh, and uh, the last point of my presentation will be to give you an outlook at Touche 2020, which will be run uh, again at Claire. We will repeat the first task, argument retrieval for controversial questions, but it with this, the, the task itself will be a little bit changed. So we still we will still be using an ArxMe uh, corpus as the uh, basis for um, for argument for argument text, but we we will provide controversial topics, but we will ask our participants to retrieve and trunk sentences, basically one main claim and one main premises, which are which represent the gist of. Uh, of the argument. So uh, framing the task this way, uh, we will also motivate developing not only a retrieval approaches, but also some more analysis uh, like identifying actually premises and claims in, um, in the text passages. The second task will be uh, will be centered uh, around retrieval for comparative questions, but now we will switch from the 
uh, web document uh, retrieval to uh, to actually a passage re retrieval. So uh, meaning that we want to now concentrate. Uh, more on the direct answer retrieval of the most relevant passages in the whole document. And um, one new task, uh, a new addition to this task will be also to identify and classify the stance of the retrieve passage. So the, which would means whether this argument passage uh, is a pro for one comparative object, or is it a pro argument for another comparative object? And a big surprise that we will offer the third uh, share task uh, at uh, two share next year, which will deal with argument retrieval, but in other modality and actually image retrieval for arguments. So providing a number of controversial topics like should hate speech be banned, we will provide the data, more than 10,000 web e images with respective web documents. And we will ask to retrieve and rank images that can actually support or attack some given stance. All right, and this is my last slide. And even though we are a little bit over time, we still can stay in this room for some time and, um, and discuss argument retrieval. <laughs>